Hey guys, what's up? It's Leanne. I just got back from the gym. Didn't have a bunch of energy today. I kind of sucked it up, but you know, you can't be perfect every day. So anyway, so I'm not doing like a whole big makeup thing. I'm just kind of going to talk to you guys while I throw some quick makeup on just to put a video up. And yeah, we're gonna start with my Urban Decay Primer Potion. The lighting everywhere in my house is awful. So, bear with me. Hopefully one day I'll be able to have something that's a little bit better. But I could turn this light on, that would help. It would help a lot. Woo! Hello brightness. Pink. Y'all look at that shadow from the light above under my eyes. Those aren't dark circles. It's shadow. Anyway, we're gonna leave it there. Hopefully that's good enough. So we got the primer potion on. We're gonna be using this ColourPop That's Taupe palette today. Yay! And like I said, I'm not, I'm just running. I've got to run to the mall. I've got some new Buff Bunny leggings coming, which is so exciting because Buff Bunny makes the best leggings ever. But I need to go get some no-show underwear because although I do love the leggings, they are very thin and basically any seam you can see it and I'm just not into that <clears throat> okay so let's see here let's take the shade boa this one right here and this is my Scott Barnes 62 brush and I'm just going to throw that in the crease so I got up to go to the gym and I washed my face, put moisturizer on, went to work out, wasn't feeling it, still got somewhat of a workout in, but it wasn't like anything super amazing. And uh, so then I came back just to rewash my face to get the sweat off and put moisturizer on. I mean, you know, getting in shape is great, but there's so many things that just make it more difficult than it has to be, like trying to prevent acne. I'm 27 years old, and as you can see, I have a spot here and a spot here, and granted, it is from working out, but what the heck, I mean... You know, when I was, like... 15, 16, 17, like I've always had bad acne. I ended up having to go on Accutane to even think about getting it clear. But I had a dermatologist tell me when the um, treatment plan that they suggested wasn't working, he was like, it's okay. It's okay to have some acne. My wife has acne. And I'm like, That's really cool, but like, I don't want to have any acne. I'm glad your wife is secure enough to be cool with her acne and you're cool with her acne, but like, I'm not your wife and I'm not cool with it. So you need to fix this. Like seriously, my wife has acne, like. Anyway, <laughs> next shade I'm gonna use is Snake Eyes right here with my MAC it's 239, but it look like this. And I'm going to put that on my lid. It looks like I'm being so rough, but I swear I'm not being as rough as it looks like I'm being. And 
the other side. I'm not very good at editing videos, so I'm really trying hard to get this all in the 15 minutes that's allotted so that I don't have to edit it. I know that's awful, but I mean, hey, he's not working with much in the editing department. I don't know if this tip would help you guys, but sometimes when I'm trying to, to um, balance and make my line smooth, I'll like rest my hand on my face so that that way I can have a little more control. All right, now I'm gonna go back with that Scott Barnes brush and whatever's left on it and just blend through the crease so the line isn't so harsh from that lid color. Okie dokie. Now, I think on the same MAC brush, the 239 we've guessed, I'm going to take this, which one should we do? This one, this one, or this one? I think we're going to go with this one. This one's called Rock Steady. Yeah, let's do that. I'm just going to pick that up on that brush and put it on the outer third. Ooh, that's pigmented a little more so than I thought she would be and the other side gonna pull it up just a little further in in the crease area and now I'm going to take that Scott Barnes brush again and just go over those lines back and forth windshield wiper motions. And here again, I have my pinky resting on my cheekbone so that I can have a little more control over that movement. just blend 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 I'm kind of pulling the color out and up just a little bit because with it being a little more pigmented than I expected I kind of put a little more on there than I was thinking I would so yeah good enough good enough good enough okay and I love this slated color here so I think I'm gonna just take that on my finger like so this one slated right here and put it right on just the inner part of my eye just for a little bit of sparkle oh yes we like that we need some more Very good, very good. All right, and now one more time with the MAC brush and the snake eyes color that we put on the lid, I'm just gonna go right back over it in the center and kind of blend it between the two the darker shade and the shimmery shade just kind of wiggling that brush back and forth so that there's no harsh lines okay Next, I'm going to take 
take this, um, oh, this is a Sephora brush, this guy. And I'm just going to kind of swipe away the fallout. There's not a whole lot of fallout, but there's a little, little bit under here, a little bit of sparkles. Um, here again, I don't really care today, but if you did care, you could put some, um, translucent powder underneath your eyes before you start and then just you know swipe it away fallout crisis averted but today I don't care don't care not a bit okay so now I'm going to take some bronzer this is the 250 tantalized glow from Marc Jacobs this is their somewhat coffee collection I don't know I'm just taking that middle shade right there on this Morphe M527 brush and I'm going to just put a little bit in the hollows of my cheeks just to kind of bring some color to the face then I'm going to take what's left on the sides of my forehead a little bit on the top and whatever's left over on my nose and chin. Perfect. The Scott Barnes 64 brush. I'm gonna dip it into that blush color up here and just put it on the apples of my cheeks and kind of work it back. And as you can clearly see, I got a little blush happy. So I'm going to take my foundation. I use powder foundation, this big fluffy brush. And I'm just going to kind of buff it out. Because we don't need that much blush today. Mm -mm. Much better. All right. And since I'm lazy and I don't want to go get any other highlight, we're going to go ahead and use the highlight that's in here as well. And I'm just going to dust it on my cheekbones and a little bit above the eye, eyebrow. As you can tell, I'm not in a very picky mood today. Good enough. Good enough. All right. So I'm going to fill in my brows really quickly and put some mascara on and be back. All right, so I'm back with brows and mascara done. Put my hair down. Gym hair and baby hairs flying everywhere. Whatever. Okay, so here's your final look. Just a quick freshen up, head out, run errands, kind of look for me. And uh, yeah, so I um, use this Anastasia Beverly Hills brow gel. And I'm sorry, I do not know what color this is. But yeah, that's the best I can do. Sorry. And I just kind of brush that through. And then my brows are really sparse in the inside because of waxing so much when I was younger and tweezing and over plucking. It's actually kind of amazing that I even have any brows left. Uh, but I used the Anastasia Brow Wiz in Soft Brown to just kind of, you know, fill in the front of those. And then I used this mascara, but I'm not gonna say the name because it's a bad word. But that's the mascara and oh, I love, love, love this mascara. So anyway, that's what I've got for you today. My messy, sweaty gym hair and this quick, that's taupe palette look with three colors from ColourPop. I can already tell without even using all of these that I'm in love. But anyway, y'all have a blessed day and I will see you next time. Bye.